guys, what's up? Paul Monroe here, coming at you live. Woo! No, it's not really live. It just depends on when you click on it. But you clicked on this video, man, because you're ready to get horny, huh? I know you did. You did, didn't you? Nah. It's just like clickbait, man. I know, I know, I know. I did it. I did it. I'll admit it. It was clickbait, trying to get you in there. Now, I'm not saying that this lick or this uh, groove won't work and get you horny, it might. So No, the truth is, this groove is really, really cool. It's a linear groove based on another lesson that we did before, so it should be really easy for you. And if you're ready, let's do it. So guys, thanks for coming back and checking this out. Now, if you haven't already checked out the previous video, the five linear grooves, five cool linear grooves, I'll post a link somewhere up here bah, 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 uh, where you can click on that. And I would recommend checking that out because once you start combining all this stuff together, the grooves with the fills, then you start uh, coming up with a really nice solo piece and a lot of extra really nice patterns that you can integrate in your, into your playing right away. I mean, right away. I use... 80 to 90 percent of these patterns all the time so I'm just giving them to you guys because you know why not share right why not share all right so we're sharing now this is based off of the other lesson that we just did the five linear grooves five cool linear uh, fills I'm sorry the five cool linear fills this is based off of that it's the same pattern but it didn't show you how to make it into a groove so it should be really easy if um, you already checked out that, that video and you worked out those grooves, if you haven't already, then this will be something new for you. But uh, the first part really is uh, just getting the pattern down. So I'm going to do it really slow for you. And I want you to pay attention to the accent that I'm going to put on with the left hand. So we'll give you a couple examples here and we'll speed it up a little bit. We'll start out slow. We'll speed it up a little bit. And here we go. So I'll, I'll write this pattern below for you so you can see exactly what it is. But basically, we're going to be switching the hands around. First, we're going to do a right-left, then we're going to do a left-right. And I'll show you in the clip of where that comes. So just pay attention to that. Here we go. Okay, so the third version we're going to do is just adding an extra bass drum. You could do it on the on the first note, 
Um, you could do it on the third note. I think I do it on the third note in this example. So let's watch how this one works out. And again, it's the same pattern. We're just adding in an extra bass drum note. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. Okay, cool, now that you saw that, finally, just to play around with it, now that you have the pattern down, we could kind of combine the pattern around, all right? We can combine the patterns together, and we can make some sort of little arrangement out of that. Let's see how that works out. Cool, man. The other thing that you could do is you could put the whole pattern on the hi-hat and just have fun with it on the hi-hat and then just move your right hand around because now you're playing what's called open-handed drumming where now your hands are not crossed. They're open-handed and it leaves the right hand open a lot for a lot of improvisation and you can see how that works out right here. I just gave you a small, real simple example of it not to confuse you and, uh, you know, so let's check that out. So the final stage of this is just to put it all together, just have fun with it, move your hands around the kit. Once you get comfortable with the pattern and you know the, familiar, the familiarity of it, I'm not gonna try and say that word, familiarity of it, try to say that 10 times, fast. familiarity, familiarity, familiar, forget it. Uh, once you try to do that, once you get the pattern down, it's just like talking. So it's like walking or talking. You're not thinking about it, you're just going. You're just going in the motion. And then you could just start improvising and moving your hands around the kit. Like I say in all my videos, don't be afraid. Be bold. Just go for it. All right? And also, if you like what you see here, please uh, subscribe to my channel and, and like it. Hit you know the like and comment and hit the little uh, bell next to it so you'll be notified of uh, new videos that I put out in the future. And also, don't be afraid to share like I'm doing with you. Share these with other people that you know. Maybe... Maybe they're not even drummers. They might like something else in here. So who knows? I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, so in this last clip, I'm just going to improvise and have a little fun for you. Hope you like it.